Good morning, Azeroth. Good morning, Azeroth. This is Neil, your friendly warrior tank from Medivh, and I help people learn achievements. Uh, this is Good Morning Azeroth for Thursday, August 25th, 2016. Welcome to Good Morning Azeroth. Neil's attempt to bring you the news from all around the world of Warcraft. And Legion is coming. Legion is almost here. Legion is almost here. Our top story. They've got dungeon strategy guides out there for all oh, the folks looking to learn a little bit more about what's coming up in Legion. Uh, I'm looking at Wowhead's Legion dungeon strategy guide that was posted uh, almost a day ago. Uh, Legion dungeon overview. So they've got uh, good information about all of the dungeons that we know about. Two, four, six, eight, ten of them. Uh, lots of information out there. If you actually uh, click on the links to any of the dungeons, you will see it is a ton of information. They go over the loot. They go over. They have a video from uh, Method on um, running through the dungeon. They go through the different bosses, the trash mobs on the way, uh, the strategy for um, beating the boss what happens in heroic and mythic difficulties, uh, and the quest associated with each of the dungeons. They've got maps on the side. Uh, so, if you're going to be leading your dungeon groups as you head into Legion, I would suggest doing a little bit of, of uh, research uh, into what you're going to find yourself getting into. Uh, always tough that first week when, especially if you're doing a lot of uh, random groups, uh, to go into a dungeon and not know what you're running into. It is very difficult, very frustrating to go in and not know why you are not defeating uh, certain trash groups or bosses. Uh, so, uh, if you don't want to be in one of those groups, if you want to know a little bit more about what you're getting into, check out Wowheads or anyone else's Legion Dungeon Overview. Uh, they are up on the internet in the various places that you could find them. Uh, don't be that guy that shows up and just QQs the whole time because no one's beating anything. Uh, this program is brought to you by Patreon.com, the Neils, Patreon.com, the Neils. That's where people are helping Neil help other people earn more achievements around the world of Warcraft. If you like Neil's help earn achievements, if you like earn achievements, consider becoming a patron of the Neils like all of our patrons. Including Regnava, Zuki, Neil, Adif, Lucy, Tendermova, Shigan, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Fantheria, Equins, Ucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coconutty, Jorfi, Azurea, Mystical, Zelo, and Kalai. They are helping Neil help other people earn more achievements. They get cool rewards like getting thanked every time Neil does a program and finding out early about what Neil's doing in Legion. Co opportunities uh, to see videos on how to achieve personal achievements, world achievements earlier than the people that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. That's at Patreon.com. And thanks to you. Thanks to you. If you are still watching this program, Go ahead and like, go ahead and share, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate all those things. They help us out. They keep us going. Keep the, the uh, Neil train moving forward. All right. Other top stories around the world of Warcraft. Wowhead.com. That's your patch hot fixes for August 24th. There's the second story. Legion Dungeon Strategy Guide. That's what we were looking at just now. Artifact Power from Quest and Treasure Scales with Knowledge. We'll see a... The blue post uh, on MMO Champion in just a few minutes. Legion Invasions, if you're not leveling tunes that you want to have leveled, now you're doing it wrong. Those Legion Invasions are rewarding uh, quite a lot of experience. I, if I remember correctly, I did go from 25 to 50, level 25 to level 50 in six invasions yesterday. Uh, no uh, potions of the Rapid Mind, just... Um, normal experience gains running around killing the nether shard dropping mobs as often as i could uh 25 to 50 in six invasions i did 50 to 60 in four invasions i did 60 to 80 in either 12 or 15 invasions uh i have not done 80 to 100 i did 80 to 100 a couple of days ago uh so if i was adding that up six and four is 10 10 and 12 22 or 25, 22 to 25 invasions, 25 to 80. Uh, not a bad way to level. You do about three every um, hour. Uh, so uh, what is that? Six, seven hours of of uh, invasions, and you 
can go from 25 to 80. Uh, that's the way to do it, if you ask me. Still better than any other way. Uh, the Q is the Q is the Q. Uh, that's their daily question and answer session over at Blizzard Watch, blizzardwatch.com. Blizz caps, you've said it all. Breakfast topic, what just won't stick? Level your alts to 100 with Legion, Steam Innovation. We were just talking about that. And the artifact power change has been clarified. At the PDQ, the Pwn Cast Daily Quest site. Uh, pro tips for Legion launch day. Be prepared. Now, this was not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I did uh, browse through the article. It speaks about the things to do in real life to be prepared for launch day. Uh, get lots of rest, get lots of fluids, uh, prepare for your pets, uh, all the things that you should be doing in real life to prepare for launch day. Uh, Legacy of a Hero Tier the Keeper. Some more Legion Raid schedules been announced. The final week before launch and what you should be doing. Guardian of Tourist Fall, more lore. It's over there at the Pwn Cast Daily Quest site. Warcraftpets.com, a great resource for all the pet battlers out there. They've got their pet of the month, the Fell Bat, uh, pet, Fell Bat Pup, still up. Uh, I must have 50 Fell Bat Pups in my bags now after leveling several tunes uh, as soon as I start to approach the 2000 Nether Shard cap i uh, just start buying fell bat pups because i've got all the appearances um most of my tunes that i'm leveling are saving up the boxes to 100 so i'm going to have the gear um uh, i go ahead and uh, would purchase the cloak and the ring and the neck and the uh those things uh in advance but i've got like 50 fell bat pups waiting till they become worthwhile to sell um, so you can collect those with 150 nether shards from the captive worm tongue vendor uh, and associated with the invasions. Those go away uh, next Tuesday. Those go away next Monday night. MMO Champion, their top story is the Artifact Knowledge and Artifact Power Reward Scaling Guide, uh, or the post from uh, Blizzard. The fact that Artifact Power Rewards from Quests and Treasures now scale with knowledge is not a bug. We started off the design of the system thinking that the exact same lines as many of the posters in this thread. We figured that we should make sure that one-time artifact power rewards did not scale or else the right answer might be to delay completing key quests or collecting any treasures until you had higher knowledge. And that doesn't sound like much fun. So we spent the first half of beta with all repeatable artifact power sources scaling and all story quest lines and treasures flat. We added multipliers to things like Suramar or Order Campaign Quests that tried to incorporate a likely expected knowledge level at that point where players would get to that content. So, for example, finishing the third chapter of the Suramar Campaign awarded a flat 10k artifact power since by at that point we expected players to likely have a uh, approximate 14 times multiplier from being around knowledge level 12. And we wanted to make sure that the reward still felt meaningful to that player. But as we were actually playtesting extensively and getting into in-game ourselves, going through the artifact power and knowledge progressions, we realized two things. Artifact power isn't a limited resource. There's always more available. There are more are war quests popping up every few hours. Dungeons can be repeatedly run and so forth. Uh, even trying to account for an expected power knowledge level at any time you came across a non-scaling reward that was aimed at someone with lower knowledge level, it felt pretty bad. So stumbling across a zone side quest you'd missed and getting a 100 artifact power from it when you needed 70k for your next trait felt like a waste of time. Opening a treasure to get 25 artifact power when you needed 300,000 for your next trait felt insulting. The system would be set up, actually encouraged trying to front load all of your artifact power while it still mattered. So they started changing it and um, now artifact power is going to scale. Uh, and that's what they intended. That's over at MMO Champion if you'd like more information there, the blue post. At Icy Veins, come on, Icy Veins. Uh, up there, World of Warcraft page, what are world quests in Legion? They've got a little explanation of what uh, PvE world quests are coming to Legion, what they look like. 
six legion invasions are active and uh, the new quest line is up the wow hot fixes for august 23rd 24th vanta shrooms also icy veins has class guides for all those classes that you're leveling and learning how to play that's it i see veins if we go back to wowhead we can see what's going on in train or one uh, of the last few days that we'll be going over this the end tavern quest put a bird on it the menagerie is the beaconator the profession is the herbs galore they've actually shortened what's going on in right train or i don't know if that's intentional or not the um wow token 36431 on their sheet and i haven't been looking at my desktop the whole time nice y'all been watching neil dance awesome neil's a noob neil's a noob if we go back into the game where we've been for 10 minutes we can check the shop we can check the shop the wow token 20 bucks 37 260 still on an uptick but still very low if you're looking to buy game time now might be a good time to do it uh goodness gracious i skipped all the things on video uh do this shortly uh, Wowhead, Legion Dungeon, Strategy Guide, Artifact Power, and Quest from Treasures, their Blizzard, Watch.com, the Q, the Q is still the Q, Pawncast, Daily Quest, Pro Tips for Legion, Launch Day, Legacy of the Hero, Warcraft Pets, the Felbat Pup, uh, lots of other guides there, MMO Champion, here's what I was reading, it's at the top of their list, Artifact Knowledge and Artifact Power Reward, Scaling, Icy Veins, what's going on over at Icy Veins, World Quest, Six Legion Adventures, Active Wild Hot Fences, uh, Neil's a noob, we know that. Uh, thanks again for keeping up with us. Like, share, subscribe if you've watched through all of this technical mm, debacle. Like, share, subscribe. Also, keep up with me, keep up with me, keep up with me. Twitch TV, The Neil's, Twitch TV, The Neil's, that's where we are streaming live to the internet, even though this doesn't look like it. Links to all of the places are below the Twitch stream. We have 453 followers. We are pushing to. 500. When we get to 500, we're giving away more pets and more mounts. Go ahead and show up a follow at the Twitch stream. <clears throat> there are links to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Open Raid group, the Guild, ShatteredFates.com, the YouTube channel, and the Patreon. They are all linked below the stream. The Guild is Shattered Fates, Shattered Fates on Medivh, Shattered Fates on Exodar. Shattered Fates on Medivh is the Alliance Guild, Shattered Fates on Exodar is the Horde Guild. We have both Medivh and Exodar, are connected realm. So if you are on the Medivh or Exodar servers and you are looking for a guild, we are looking for you. ShatteredFates.com is the Guild. We're on Facebook. Neil's on Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com. I am Neil on Medivh. And I friend back. I'm on Twitter, twitter.com. I am at the Neils, and I follow back, even if you post silly things like this. Uh, I'm on OpenRaid, openraid.zergid.com. That's where you can find all of my events. Not many more events before Legion 8. I'm sorry, six events before Legion. Nothing up today because the guild's going in and going to try to kill Mythic Blackhand and Mythic Tactus and Imperator. We've got three bosses on the list today for the guild. Hopefully we get them all down before Legion. We've got Heroic Blackrock Foundry tomorrow evening. We've got Mythic High Mall on Saturday afternoon. Mythic Blackrock Foundry Hellfire Citadel Achievements on Sunday. And Throne of Thunder on Monday. Then it's Legion. We're taking two weeks off. Two weeks off before we get back to running things at Open Room. Uh, we're on YouTube. YouTube.com. Uh, it's actually a whole bunch of gobbledygook channel. But I am Neil Amadeev, Neil Amadeev there. We just passed 60,000 views, 60,000 views. Oh, milestone. Uh, celebrate. That's where you can find all the videos to all of the things. The Good Morning Azeroth, the That One Time Things Happened, Legion Pre-Patch Achievement Guides, Hellfire Raider Guides, Trainor Raider Guides, Trainor Hero Guides, the Legacy Achievement Guides. We'll have new videos up as we get into Legion. Keep up with this, keep up with this, keep up with this. Thanks again. If you made it to this point, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. We also appreciate our patrons. The patrons make it possible. They signed up over at Patreon.com. The Neils to help Neil help other people learn more achievements. Regnava, Zuki, Neil, Adafluzzi, Tinder, Mulva, Shigan, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Fantheria, Equinz, Ucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coco Naughty, Dwarfy, Azurea, Mystical, Zelo, and Kalai. Thanks to those guys, and thanks to you. Y'all have fun storming the castle today, and remember, fire is still bad. Y'all have a great one.